Speech Corner Photo Cards for the Cycles Approach High Intensity Repetitions was designed to give SLPs an effective resource for providing focused speech therapy repetitions to students with multiple phonological process errors. Barbara Hodson and colleagues developed the Cycles Approach for children who use several different phonological processes or error patterns and were considered to have severe to profound expressive phonological impairments. Each process is targeted for a limited amount of time and therapy cycles through the other processes regardless of the level of mastery achieved. When all the processes have been targeted in therapy, the cycles repeat until each process is eliminated from the child's speech. Let's take a look inside these cards. First, you'll take out and you'll get the introduction card. This will let you know how to use it in therapy. Next, you will see a card that tells you how to implement the cycles approach. It gives a brief overview of each of the steps of the cycles approach, how to implement it and the amount of time it should take. Next, you'll get the table of contents. It shows all the primary patterns that will be targeted that you should be cycling through and a few selective secondary patterns that are only targeted once all the primary patterns have been eliminated. Here is a sample card. This particular card at the upper left hand corner tells you what it's targeting. Down below in the middle tells you the primary process and then it gives you three targets. When you flip it over, it's going to be the same primary process and the same targets, but different photos. Each photo allows the child to have four repetitions. So this gives you ample opportunities to get a lot of production practice. You know, in the cycles approach, the student should only be saying it if they're getting it 100% correct. So as the SLP, you need to use all your elicitation techniques to facilitate correct production and practice. The student can point at each, put a sticker in each, or use a dry erase marker to mark the circles underneath each picture in order to get a lot of practice and productions. You also can incorporate this in games or play-based therapy, but then you're only having to carry one large card around instead of multiple small cards. Dry erase markers work great, and like I said, so do stickers, especially if you're a school-based SLP doing it at a tabletop. The Cycles Approach has 50 double-sided cards. Each card contains three pictures, and like I said, yeah, they're easily sorted by the processes at the bottom and the targets in the left-hand corner. We hope you enjoy using these and that they're productive for the students on your caseload. 